Do, 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 do. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Makeup University. Vault Boy says hello. I am in the office. I haven't got a thing done on the new studio area, but I have got some major products just repurposed, thrown out, and whew. Okay, today I have to share with you <laughs> well, I could use a glass of wine. <coughs> Excuse me. It's live. Uh, my Israeli wines. When I went to the Passover celebration in Texas, it was so good. Got to visit the barrel room. And I picked up some wines that, excuse me, I get it. <laughs> Focus around my chair here. Um, I got these wines. Yay! And these are from the barrel room. They're from Israel, but I cannot get them at my local Total Wine. And they certainly, which actually is in Las Vegas, which isn't my town. That's another story. The point is I had a chance to buy some great wine and I did. So without further ado, let's get into these. We're going to start with the one white wine in all of this. And I actually bought this for my mother because I... I don't drink white wine, but she likes it. I bought this the last time we were there. It's literally like a crisp green apple in the bottle. With a hint of sweet. It was so good. It's called Herman, Mount Herman, Herman, uh, Moscato from Galilee. And this was part of it. So this one's from Galilee. I was telling my mom, and um, I think I've shared this before. One of my favorite things about wine drinking and trying wines from other regions is that I feel like you taste the land. You taste what was happening in the fruit on the vine in that atmosphere at that time. So this bottle from 2014 could be different than the bottle from 2012 from the bottle from 2019. Okay, so the Hermann, it was really good. It has a little bit of citrus to it. It is very low alcohol. So um I liked it and I don't drink white wine. So do I recommend it? Absolutely. Uh, oh my gosh, this Yarden, this is a Galilee also. And it's a Syrah 2014 from the Golan Heights. Oh, this was so good. And the thing is all of these, not all, but the majority of these wines are from 2014. And something really interesting when we talk about tasting the land is that in 2014, Israel was experiencing the breakout of another war. I mean, it was just a savage time for the people and for the land. And so I feel like when we taste these, we're tasting a little bit of trauma in the land, as well as resilience of the people. And just, you know, the grapes on the vine, just the vine is so important. And we won't get off on that talk. We'll talk vines another time. But as for me, this is the Yarden from Galilee. It has a hint of smoke. It's full bodied. It's full in the mouth. They say Yarden Syrah is made entirely from Syrah grown in Golan Heights. The cool climate and rocky volcanic soil proved to be a successful combination for growing fine Syrah. 18 months aging in barrel adds to the wine's overall complexity. This is a kosher wine. Here's the thing. This one is so good. I just really had to sip this slow to make it last. And I have been in my local Las Vegas Total Wine. I know I've been introduced to the BevMo. I haven't been to the BevMo yet. But the point is, I haven't had a chance to buy these anywhere else other than the barrel room in Texas because they specifically import. I just saw my dad go by on the tractor. If you start to hear that, eh, la vie. <laughs> okay, this one was so good. This is 3400 premium and it is a Pinotage. It's 2014. So again, so much complexity inside this Jerusalem wine. So it's a Jerusalem vineyard. And in Hebrew year 3400, Cyrus the Great ended the Jewish exile by allowing the Jewish people to return to the land of their forefathers and rebuild their fallen temple. During this time, the wine industry flourished throughout Israel. These Pinotage grapes were handpicked and aged eight months in oak. And it's given the wine a full body with aromas of red currant, berries, raspberry, and black pepper. Ah, oh, so good. The wine boasts a balanced body and an enjoyable aftertaste. Here's the deal. Oh, my gosh. This 
bottle in particular, I liked out of all of them that I have. This one was the best. Pinotage is new to me. I'm its new biggest fan. Again, this one, I was just felt like I could taste the tears of the land in this bottle. It was so good. And it was just a joy to drink. And I, too, again, just had to sip it so slow because... <sighs> I bought two bottles of each, one for me, one for my mom. Now, uh, because of how the Arizona liquor law is, the Texas company cannot import the product from Israel into Texas and then sell it to Arizona. However the law works, when I'm physically in Texas and buy it there, it works with the law. I don't quite understand, but I'm here to tell you. Ah. Okay, this one was, they had a tasting there at the barrel room. This is Vintner Select by, I say, Hayotzer, and it's a Cab Sav 2017 semi-dry red wine product of the Judean Hills in Israel. Ah! This was a fun, funky find. It has lots of flavor and a pop of heat and pepper on the finish. I just loved it. I know I might be biased and just love it to be loving it but this one here oh it's so good so vintner select i don't know if you want to call it the h or vintner select or what it is oh hi hello so in the chat i see that the plucko has popped up to say hello hi we need to go buy some wine so these are this is the last one from texas from the new Oh, it was just so good. So I wish I had more of those. It was the Vintner Select H, and then it is the 3400 Premium from Jerusalem. So good. And then this is the Yarden Syrah from Galilee. Love. And then the Golan Heights, Herman. Whew, so good. And then I want to share this other one. Let me make sure I chat back here. Uh is it working? Oh, yeah. Somebody asked, the Pleco asked, how many wines do I have? Oh, not enough. And as we're talking, and I'm like, oh, Grandpa's out there on the on the tractor. And then an entire container just went by the window. Okay, well, moving on. We made our decision to go to Texas last minute, zippity zappity. So before I knew we were going, I got this from Total Wine in Las Vegas. This is the Ben Ami, and it is a Merlot um, from Galil, 2016 bottle. Uh, I drank this so long ago. It, but I do remember I liked it, and I would definitely buy it again. And if you have a, um, let me ask the Pleco, what do you recommend? Yeah, what do you recommend? Um, so I have all of these, and I had meant to do them one a week, but uh, the summer break is in full swing, and we are just busy and going. And so, and also, we started a new show. We started watching The Last Ship, and uh, I was very slow to get on the Hulu bandwagon. Now I'm on the Hulu bandwagon because I have to watch Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. Because coming up next month, I have a collab working with Nerd Soul and just Judy HB. So you will see that coming out at the end of next month, end of June. But I had to start watching Cloak and Dagger to be ready for that collab. Next thing you know, uh, we're scrolling through. And I remember someone had told me, oh, you'll really love this show, The Last Ship. And you know what? Actually, we do. So long story short. All of these wines are amazing. Any one of them would be good for a gift, good for a meal, good to share. I loved all of them. Even that white wine, I actually liked it a little bit. So, oh, let me ask, what kind of wine do they have on ship? Oh, look, I think we're going to get a visitor. Look right there. Whee! It's live. <laughs> so this is what summer break is all about uh whoop, whoop. actually um being in your pajamas all day it you guys global warming has got to be real because uh it's 60 degrees outside it we're in arizona by the colorado and it is normally well over 100 and it's not it's in 60 degrees so um 
we're actually, that's why I have the jacket on. He's got a long sleeve shirt on. I mean, are you coming over to join me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come sit over here. Sit on your head. Come join me for the live video. Thanks for commenting. I was just telling them about the wines I uh, bought at the Barrel Room in Texas. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Did you know you can see how many people have liked it and the, so you can see your runtime if you're live? Yeah, right Person there. watching? Yep. Me. Yeah. You know, the live video is new for me because ever since I watched the YouTube monetization go from a little bit to less than zero. And so ever since, that's why I went to live videos. It took me a long time to get it figured out. That was a user problem, not a YouTube problem. The live is really geared towards using Chrome and I use Mozilla. So I got that figured out. And then once I saw the income drop, like a little bit is okay. And in the big picture, I would say that maybe my interests are just changing. But that's not the point. The point is I went to live because it's a lot of work and a lot of time to record, edit, music, make that title, all the stuff. And to do all of that for... It just takes too much time. It's for nothing. Yeah, it's too much time. So tell me about the last ship. It's a good show. It's a good show. If you like, it's a drama. It's like a military Navy it's a, it's drama. It's a TV drama. Yeah, TV drama. It's an end of the world drama. It's, an, it's uh, another end of the world drama. It, it, yeah, it does have a little bit of a, it's, 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 it's around a pandemic. Yeah. So we're watching it and liking it. And there's five seasons. How did that go five seasons? I don't even know. Currently we're at the end of season two and I feel like the writing is getting a little thin. Maybe. So take a good look at our hair because tomorrow we are both going and having the axe. He is getting cut super short because he has two camps coming out. You got to have short hair. And then I am really thinking I'm ready to let the hair grow gray. I went gray at 30. I have colored it since the early 80s. I don't even know what the natural hair color looks like anymore. And I think I'm just ready. So I'm going to cut it short. Not short, short, but cut it and then start working the color back to near normal. What do you think? Yeah. You want to share anything? No. Okay. He just came to visit. I'm just here. <laughs> well, Vault Boy gives a thumbs up to all of those Israeli wines. In the back. Yeah, he is. Yeah. That's the other thing why, why I'm in the office is because um, two things. One, the internet is in the office. So to be able yeah, to plug it in. Better, yeah. Being able to plug the, not use the Wi-Fi. Uh, I got a plug in in the office. And the other reason is I have a very expensive MSI laptop. And the screen broke. Yeah. So the it's expensive, cheap. Like very cheaply made, like the plastic is very thin, and the actual in the laptop, or the screen is held to the, body, the joint. It broke. Yeah, on one side, just broke. It popped and off. the e key is broken. I'm just like, wow, for a couple grand, you're kind of cheap. You've had your computer for about the same time as mine. Uh, I had it for two years, not quite. Two years. I've I think had two mine years. three years, I think. You have the HP. Yeah, it's mine's, really well made. Mine's basic. Mine's metal. But it, I got this MSI because I needed a powerful, portable uh, video editor. Powerful and portable. That was the deal. And it was sacrificed. Grandpa's out there doing something. I think we should go. Container. We should go see. Yeah, we gotta go do exercise. <sighs> well, we're going to bike ride. It is beautiful and cold. And so now we're going to go. Thanks for visiting. Now we're going to go bike ride, uh, probably watch uh, Last Ship, and then tomorrow is the shopping day. We live in a rural area. Hiya, creeper. <laughs> and so it's about going to town that I live so far away that there's no such thing in my area as going to like zip out to the store real quick, like five minutes away, 10 minutes away. No, no, no. 34 well, 36 by the time you get to the actual store. It's a long way. So tomorrow is our town day. We're going to be getting some. Oh, I got a little creeper. Look right there. Do, 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 do. Skittles. No, I don't want any Skittles. Oh, my gosh. That is yeah, Halloween candy. Metric ton of Skittles. It is a metric ton of Skittles. No, it's not. So how long do you keep your Halloween candy? I, I think kids might keep their candy as long as I keep products. So I've been working on this. I'm working on it. <laughs> I am. It's really hard to part with it. I haven't had this for 50 years. 
Yeah. <laughs> You've had, no, you're not even 50. No, uh, I've had, uh, prob I've had the properties, yeah, the product for a long time. Oh, I'm going to take one. Boop. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Concrete, I know. It is old and gross. Ask yeah. Me. It's gross. Okay, so you getting a haircut tomorrow? Got to go to the store. What do you want to get? What kind, mm. of, what kind of wine do you want to get at the store tomorrow? I don't know. Well, I hope to find something new. Uh, we'll be at the, not our usual Walmart. Walmart's all we have in our little area. Ugh. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Um, I think to, I want to wrap up with, we're going to pick out something new at the different Walmart store tomorrow. That's all that's really in my area. That's why we go to Walmart. We're Walmartians. And I'm hoping to find a new red blend under like ten dollars and under and i want to think a thought on the red blend so the beauty is when i'm drinking this israel wine and these grapes are coming from that area i feel like i am tasting the land though when you get a red blend from california those grapes could be from anywhere and i think it speaks to the political nature of all the upheaval trauma that is happening and the state, the golden state. And so when you drink that wine, I'm like, am I drinking trauma? I don't know. Like they used to have the commercials about the happy cows, you know, happy cows make happy cheese. I think that was a Tillamook. <laughs> I um, poster my grandma got me. Zombies eat brains. You're safe. You're safe. Yeah. Yeah. A little, little teasing there. Okay. This is getting long. I just wanted to share with you all of those great Israeli wines. I will list them below in the description and hopefully you can find some because, oh, we should talk price. Not one of those was near $10. They averaged 25, 28 and 35. And I just felt like this is near and dear. I'm going to spend on this and it was worth every penny. Oh my gosh. It was worth every penny. Oh, he's still in his jammies. Go put your okay. riding clothes on because we are going to go ride bikes because it's really cold outside. Normally, this time of year in the weather, hey, uh, we're all dying. We would have the house closed up, the air conditioning on, and it would just be hot. But it's not. It's 60 degrees in the end of May. We could have a whole other conversation on global warming. Okay, so this is getting long. I'm going to go ahead and switch over here, grab my mouse, and say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah! We will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I'm Sherilyn. This is Makeup University. And remember, look really gorgeous today. Bye.